We know they're cute. We know they're cuddly. But from the beginning of time, one of the biggest jobs of the domesticated dog has been to protect its family. And nowadays, not much has changed. Some dogs will bark at a passing mailman or a squirrel on the lawn, but others tend to step it up a notch and kick things into the next gear. Whatever the reason, we know one thing for sure. Dogs truly are the most loyal friend a human can have. So grab your favorite chew toy and enjoy watching the top 10 guard dogs you don't want to mess with. Before we begin, prove that your bark isn't bigger than your bite and click on that subscribe button we'd hate to have to release the hounds. Bull Mastiff Everyone has an idea of what makes the perfect dog. Some say intelligence is the most important aspect, and others just want a big ball of fluff to cuddle up with at night. Fur pillow alert! Well, the first dog on our list has a little bit of everything. The Bull Mastiff's specialty as a breed is being a jack of all trades. They're known to be incredibly smart and have one of the best temperaments of all canine breeds. They're also considered good in tracking, agility, and even therapy work. Plus, this big guy is a short-haired dog, so he really doesn't shed at all. Wow, this dog has a better resume than... than I do. They need to be trained a little more creatively than other dogs, as they hate to do the same tasks over and over and over again. I can relate, pal. Let me do a second take. I can relate, pal. But if you're a robber trying to break into a bull mastiff house, you need to beware. They are known to be both loyal and courageous. They stop at almost nothing to protect their clan, and their instincts for protection are second to none. The bull mastiff usually uses its brute strength and size to knock over any intruder. Did we forget to mention that they typically grow to be around 150 pounds? That's a big boy. Luckily, the aggression stops at protecting its family, as the bull mastiff is an incredible and loving pet. Giant Schnauzer If you have beer to protect, don't worry. The Giant Schnauzer has got you covered. This breed actually started as a guard dog for butcher shops and breweries. You know, that sounds like a pretty awesome part of town to hang out in. These dogs can live for up to 15 years, so they're along for the long haul. They were originally bred in Germany and are actually sometimes known as the Munich Schnauzer. That kind of sounds like the name of a tank, doesn't it? Speaking of tanks, this breed of dog is a big one. They're known to have an extremely strong build with a thick skin layer and are larger than the brawniest standard schnauzer. They're widely known to be highly intelligent and are susceptible to training if their owners are consistent. And that's good news because the giant schnauzer needs to have a regular job to feel fulfilled. But why is this fur baby considered such a fantastic guard dog? Well, first of all, these are a very calm breed that almost never barks unless they feel threatened. That means if you hear a bark from the giant schnauzer, something is most definitely wrong. And interestingly enough, in the early 1900s, this breed was actually trained to work for the police force in the city of Berlin and several others. The only reason they didn't become well known as police dogs in the United States is because the German shepherds beat them to it. Those German shepherds always one step ahead. Akita We might have a troublemaker on our hands. The Akita is known to be one of the most difficult dog breeds to raise. But if you're patient and caring, you might end up with your wrist in its mouth. Wait, just let me explain. The Akita loves to carry things around in its mouth and not in an aggressive way. It's just this breed's way of showing you that it loves you. Aww. Like most dogs on this list, they are a large breed of dog, and they know it too. They don't scare easily and usually take a liking to the great outdoors. The Akita was originally used as a tracking animal. In addition to hunting down deer and wild boar, they also used to track black bears. Nice. If I was in the woods and even heard the word bear, I'd run home screaming. So, if bears aren't a deterrent, why would humans scare Akitas? Even though they're very affectionate and respectful of their family, they can tend to be naturally suspicious of strangers. If need be, they'll spring into action right away. But don't worry if you have a new friend coming over. A well-trained Akita can easily be told by its owner that a guest is A-OK. -okay. And if you own an Akita and you've ever felt like a king or a queen, listen to this. This breed also used to guard royalty and nobility in feudal Japan. Well, no wonder they seem so dignified. Anatolian Shepherd This breed is a real secret agent. They might not have specialized weapons and top-of-the-line cars, but they are masters of disguise. Deep in the rural districts of Turkey, the Anatolian Shepherd is still being used as a shepherd dog for flocks of sheep or goats. This breed is definitely not a herding dog, however. It actually can adapt to whatever situation it's in and becomes a part of the family. That applies to humans, sheep, goats, whatever and the flock always accepts the Anatolian Shepherd back. And why not? Wouldn't you want constant and loyal protection from bad guys? And don't call this dog a pet. 
He really believes he's one of the pack. He thinks he's people. So, saying that the Anatolian Shepherd is a loyal breed is a huge understatement. Without this breed, the Turkish Shepherds couldn't defend their property from wild animals. And in Turkey, the breed is known as a Chauban Kope, which easy enough translates to Shepherd's Dog. They're known for their speed and agility, which lets them run down any predator that threatens its family. Another awesome thing about them is some shepherds in Turkey give these guys iron spiked collars as protection against throat biting animals. This dog is on another level. Experts say that attack dog training for this breed is strongly discouraged because of how serious they are. We don't really want a killing machine on our hands. Tibetan Mastiff Tall as a donkey with a voice as powerful as that of a lion. That's not a quote we would normally expect to hear about a dog, but legend has it that this is exactly what the famous explorer Marco Polo said about Tibetan Mastiffs. He said it after traveling to China hundreds of years ago, and since then, people's fascination with this breed definitely hasn't slowed down. In fact, the Tibetan Mastiff is one of the most expensive dog breeds in the entire world. The wealthy in China have been known to purchase purebred versions of them for 10 million yuan. That's one and a half million dollars. You could buy 10,000 Labradors with that kind of money. Not that you'd have anywhere to put them. Sorry, pups. The Tibetan Mastiff is a very protective dog, and territorial too. So if they think your house, yard, razor scooter, or whatever is in danger, they'll be sure to let you know. They're independent and stubborn, however, so they decide on their own terms who is a bad guy or not. They can be a bark-heavy breed, and it's no surprise. The Tibetan Mastiff has been bred for thousands of years to patrol, alert through barking, and guard. It's so deep in their DNA that there is no way you could ever change it. This breed isn't one to obey you if they think they're right. And to add to that, the Tibetan Mastiff is usually not going to do well in obedience or agility contests. And if you have them in your yard, they tend to try and climb fences and dig holes to escape. With all these issues to consider, it kind of makes you wonder why they cost so much money. Huh. Rottweiler. Cool, calm, and collected. Rottweiler? This breed largely gets by as a guard dog on reputation alone. They tend to be very well-liked and quick learners, but whenever you see them out in the world, your mind can't help but go to one trait. It's hulking strength. It began as a dog bred to protect cattle and taught through the years to be unrelenting when it came to protecting their own. They actually are thought to be descendants of drover dogs in ancient Rome. These types of animals were used for a lot of tasks, pulling carts, herding animals, and of course, guarding Roman homes. And in modern times, they are sometimes known to be unfriendly to strangers if their owners don't properly introduce them. And you better hope they do. The Rottweiler is not only tough, but moves a lot faster than other dogs. Trust me, you don't want to get on this one's bad side. This breed is also extremely self-sure. If you see them out on the street, they will usually have a powerful and confident walk. Maybe it's because they're almost always the toughest doggy on the block. Well, we know they at least have the biggest bite. According to experts, their jaws are stronger than both the German Shepherd and the Pit Bull. And that's stiff competition. They can bite with a force of over 320 pounds. That's half the strength of a shark's bite. Unreal. Chinese Sharpei. No need to grab your ironing board. All those wrinkles are attached to the next guard dog on our list, the Chinese Sharpei. A lot of experts think that this breed is ancient, dating back to the Han Dynasty in 200 BCE. We do know that they originally came about to be the protector of local farms. After years of popularity, the Sharpei actually almost became extinct. And from the 1960s to the 70s, Guinness World Records said the Sharpei was the rarest dog breed in the world. Even though they look cute and adorable, they actually are able to run the table on protecting farms from pesky predators. So if you're a stranger trying to approach this dog's family, you should be aware, as Sharpays tend to be aggressive towards new people in their home. They are definitely territorial according to the American Kennel Club. But like most dogs, socializing them while they are a puppy with kids, strangers, and other animals can prevent aggressive behavior. Doing so also shows the Chinese Sharpei the difference between a good guy and a potential danger. Some people believe that this breed was originally made as a royal guard dog, although there is no way of really knowing now. The dog's wrinkled skin also gives it an advantage for fighting. If an animal bites onto the loose folds, its mouth would fill with skin and completely miss vital organs. The dogs also have curved teeth that are easily able to hook into an enemy's skin. They may be cute, but they're bred to be deadly as well. Doberman Pinscher 
This dog's muscular and compact body type is an easy one to spot. It's sleek but still incredibly athletic. Everything I wish my body was. In fact, the Doberman needs regular exercise to be happy. You can definitely tell you're dealing with a Doberman by its long head that looks like a wedge. Sometimes they can even look like an aristocrat, cropped ears, a docked tail, and a short coat. But don't let all those features fool you. This dog is clever and potentially vicious enough for military and police work. The Doberman Pinscher is also one of the newer breeds of dog in the world. They only started to form in the late 1880s. That means the breed is less than 150 years old. And this dog is a sensitive one. Not like cries while watching the notebook sensitive. But they definitely pick up on the little things. They respond quickly to any stimuli and tend to sit back and observe around strangers until they know what's happening. They have a great intelligence level as well. They are known to be one of the five smartest dog breeds in the world. But if you live anywhere where it's cold out, be warned, they are very sensitive to lower temperatures. Even though they are very fearless, the one weakness seems to be snow. So if Elsa from Frozen is in the market for a guard dog, tell her to stay away from pinchers. Rhodesian Ridgeback Let's see. This dog doesn't care about exercising and has a little mohawk. Sounds like my time in middle school. Punk rock. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is actually a naturally muscular dog that can be very independent. They were originally bred in the African country of Zimbabwe to be a hunting dog, and a lot of those instincts show themselves still today. They were originally called African Lion Hounds, a name that sounds pretty daunting. They almost never bark unless they see something strange or unusual to them. That means if you're a cat burglar breaking in near a Rhodesian Ridgeback, you are going to be out of luck. They're known to attack fairly easily, too. Their instinct to protect is incredibly powerful. Although, it is known that the Ridgeback's first thought isn't always to attack. Some are known to first place their large body between their human and the threat before things escalate. I wish I had that kind of self-control. But when it comes to eating, they definitely don't hold back. They are known to eat so much that they make themselves sick. Of all the dogs on this list, the Ridgeback is the most prone to obesity. So if you want this breed as your guard dog, you better start thinking about a diet for it now. German Shepherd We've saved the best guard dog for last. The German Shepherd is a classic pick for guarding homes and businesses. In addition to seeing them regularly with police officers in the real world, they also tend to show up a lot on television and movies. Even though they have a big reputation to live up to, the German Shepherd originally was bred to herd sheep, like a lot of other dogs on this list. So what exactly makes these dogs the best at protection? Well, according to the military and police forces, this breed has a nose that can't be beaten. They're able to sniff out potential threats way before any human knows what's coming. That's why they're always used during criminal chases and bomb sniffing missions. With that powerful tool, you'd think they'd run off to sniff and explore the world. But the German Shepherd also has another great skill at its disposal, its willpower. That means this dog is willing to keep watch and stay in one spot for long periods of time. There's no tricking this breed. These pups can also live for up to 10 years or more. That means you can not only have a living, breathing guard dog protecting your home for years, but also a loyal friend by your side for the duration. Dogs really are the greatest gift a person can have in their life. Well, that brings things to a close for this one. We hope you learned which dogs will best protect your family and which ones are the most likely to give a bad guy a firm bite on the backside. And to all potential criminals, give it up. It's just not worth it.